Mayunaga friends, this is David, your traveling tutor. I'm coming back to you with another video on the SRR visa. You'll remember my other two videos that I shared with you where I actually came to Makati in Manila and got those documents processed. However, two of them need to be a postile, basically a high-level notary. For me, I'll be traveling to the U.S. Embassy to have those documents notarized. So I wanted to answer questions about that because some of you guys have asked me what a postile means and how you can get that done. Quite expensive if you do it in the States, but found out I can go to the U.S. Embassy here in Manila and get that taken care of. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get the video started and check out this view. So friends, I'm getting into the taxi to go to the Philippine Retirement Authority. I call it the PRA. And I would like to point out three things that I think are important. First of all, the Philippine Retirement Authority has a website at pra.gov.ph forward slash SRRB. And that's the best place to go if you have general questions about the SRR visa. It's very helpful and it kind of launched me into getting my own. I recommend too that you get an agent to help you through the process you know, of getting the SRR visa. Can you do it on your own? Sure you can but having an agent like for me was very helpful and i have great suggestions about top-notch agents if you want to find out more about those contact me directly you can email me that's up on the screen and also i'll put that in the description for you to be able to go ahead and contact me about finding a great srr visa agent if you need it and again i mentioned in the beginning that you have to apostille important documents that's going to vary slightly from person to person because there are several different types of srr visas you can initially get your srr visa without these documents being apostille but you have to do this high-level notary within one year's time or else your visa could be put on hold or inactive status or something like that. But if you want to get the apostille, you can go to the U.S. Embassy. You can get it notarized. It becomes what the Philippine Retirement Authority calls apostille. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do this at the U.S. Embassy. But there was a catch. <laughs> it didn't work out exactly as I wanted. So stay tuned and keep watching. Okay, I'm outside of the BDO Towers, Valero. This is where you'll want to come to go to the PRA. You'll want to go up to the 29th floor. Yeah, so when you come in to go to the PRA, guys, you'll, uh, you know, if you have a bag, you'll have to run it through the scanner. I'll put my phone in there, <laughs> which I forgot about. That's going to go through too. And then head in. Good morning. How are you? Is it all good? I'm going up to the PRA guys to do uh, a video on, on something that I have to take care of. So, how are you? How's your day going? Thank you. Okay, all right. Well, thank you so much. So yeah, after you go through security guys, you're gonna head to the right of the building. What company? Uh, PRA. Okay, sign in. So, this is new. I didn't do this last time I was here, but it looks like there's a visitor's log. Gonna sign in. Okay, so sign in and then go through these uh, gates here. We're gonna wait to go up. Good morning, everybody. You're gonna get out on the 29th floor. Mayungaga. And I, re I recognize this gentleman. Yes, good morning. Did, good morning. I'm here to get uh, two documents from the Philippine Retirement Authority. Okay, sir. Uh, please register first. Okay. All right, so I'll sign in. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> I'm waiting um, at the BRA to collect those two documents. So it's a little busy in here, people coming and going, but uh, they've been super helpful today. 
and I appreciate that so much. For my two documents that I needed, I had emailed them at this particular email address to communicate uh, with people what I needed. And then, you know, I got really fast response back from the PRA. And, uh, so I appreciate that. Right now I'm waiting for the documents that I'll be bringing to the U.S. Embassy tomorrow. Okay, so I just got out of the elevator and I'll be exiting, I think. There's a little blockage here. Do I go out this way or... Where is the exit? <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, and then the exit is over here, right next to the entrance. It's a nice day out. One nice thing about being in these high-rise apartments, you don't have to worry about getting hit by a lot of sun. It's pretty shady. So I think I am going to head back. Now that I have my two documents to bring to the U.S. Embassy, unfortunately, I can't share video footage uh, from that visit. They have high security. So like I mentioned before, I thought I would be getting a notary stamp on each page of these documents, but I was in for a big surprise when I got to the U.S. Embassy, and I need to share that with you. But first of all, when you go to the U.S. Embassy, you'll have to make an appointment, and the best way to do that is an online appointment. You can do it at ph.usembassy.gov forward slash services forward slash notorials. I'll also have that in this description. But scroll down a little bit until you find Manila or Cebu online appointment systems. I think it's about in the middle of the, uh, the page. Click number one, select Philippines as the country and Manila or Cebu, they do have Cebu in there now, as the city, then submit. You'll want to select notorial and other services not listed here. When you do, click Submit. It's going to take you to a calendar with days and times that are available for appointments. So once you select your day, you'll put in your personal information and you'll get a confirmation of that. It might take a while. I have to do it several times sometimes. But be sure to print off your confirmation page. When you go into the U.S. Embassy, they'll want to see it and you'll have to show it. I showed it like five or six times at several different stations going into the U.S. Embassy. You can't have a phone inside, friends, so don't put it on your phone. Be sure to print it off on paper. This is my uh, grab driver, Romeo. Hello, welcome to my Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> He's been an awesome driver and saved me from my distress at the U.S. Embassy, but uh, yeah, we're headed back to Makati, so salamat, Romeo. Welcome, welcome my friend. Welcome to my country. <laughs> when you have your U.S. Embassy appointment, you'll want to go to the southernmost building. It's near the Dolomite Beach, and from there you can see a bridge walk going over the main street that runs along the U.S. Embassy. When I went there, I went uh, to the north and kept getting directed south to the next and south and finally to the third one. So friends, it's the southernmost U.S. Embassy building, and that might save you a little bit of headache. Security is very strict here. So don't bring a lot of extra items like I did. Be sure you arrive 20 minutes early. And again, bring a copy of your appointment, your confirmation letter. Security will walk you through everything and show you exactly where you need to go. So don't worry about getting lost. Just make sure you go to the right building, which is the southernmost one. Yeah, that's the old style traditional jeepney. Uh, you'll see only in Manila. Another style, an older, older traditional jeepney. Got that classic sound to them. It's like a, a 
growl of a Harley Davidson, I guess, but only for a Jeep. Now, <laughs> for the surprise, my shocker, the U.S. Embassy doesn't do a notary stamp like you might know a notary in the U.S. I was surprised and shocked when they mentioned this to me, but they said that I could do a sworn statement that is then attached with my notarized sworn statement. It might be helpful if you prepare your own sworn statement ahead of time, but you, like me, might be thinking, well, what do I write? That was my dilemma when I got there. I spent, I don't know, an hour trying to perfect something, and, and the people that are there, they won't help you out because they're not really sure what to write. I'm, I'm showing you my sworn statement, so it could be helpful to you. You might not want to word it exactly to the way I wrote it, but you can see what it could look like. But write it in your own style, with your own ideas. But again, this was my final draft. Once you have the sworn statement completed, they will attach all these documents together. You will raise your right hand, swear that's true, and uh, you'll pay the cashier. I thought I would have to pay in US dollars because it says $50 per notary. Thought I'd be having two of documents done. $100. But what's nice about the sworn statement is it's one page, so it's $50 and all of the attachments, you don't have to pay individually for those. So I guess it saved me money, but I did convert pesos into dollars and I brought a $100 bill, which I had to convert <laughs> in the pesos. Not a big deal. And I was happy to use my Navy Federal credit card. So after you have your sworn statement completed, you'll want to bring that back to the PRA, the Philippine Retirement Authority. Then ask them to give a copy of your sworn statement and documents. And they'll create what is called a certified copy of those documents. You can see that on this document. Friends, that's it. You shouldn't have to worry about any more apostille with your documents. Documents. They should be correct with the Philippine Retirement Authority. It's kind of crazy, stressful, but I hope that this helps you finish and complete the apostilling of the documents that you need for your own SRMs. Hey, hello, how are you? What's up? Hello, hello. Okay, long, awesome.
Romeo, thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you for helping me out on my adventure and getting me safely to, uh, to Ayala Mall, Greenbelt Mall. Okay, uh, you're welcome, my friends. Uh, come again uh, in these Philippines. Yes. Because this place is Manila. very nice yeah. in this Makati. Yes, this is uh, so good. Ayala Mall. Right? Yeah, in Ay Ayala Mall. Ayala Mall, Greenbelt, and there's like one, Greenbelt 1, Greenbelt 2, Greenbelt. There's a lot of Greenbelts. <laughs> But again, thank you so much, Romeo. Okay, for a safe ride and a nice ride. Guys, get a get a grab when you come to Manila. It's uh, in my opinion so much better than a taxi. The cars are really nice. So friends, thanks for joining me on this crazy journey about getting my final documents apostilled for my SRR visa, going to Makate, going to the Philippine Retirement Authority, uh, getting the documents and finally getting those apostilled. So I wanna thank you for joining me. I appreciate the subscribers. I hope this helps you out tremendously. Crazy journey, but it's done. My visa is completed and I have a lifetime visa in the Philippines. So thanks for watching. If you like the channel, hit subscribe. I want to thank you. This is David, your traveling tutor. I'll see you on the very next video.